up, plantitos and plantitos. I'm Rosie of Rose Greenery. Welcome to my channel. Today's episode is a DIY of a moss pole. Honestly, for me, it's kind of hard to find a moss pole in my area. Whenever I go to QC Circle where I buy my plants, it's usually they run out of it or the one that they have is not something I like. So today I have decided to do my own moss pole for my trailing plants and I'm here to show you how. Here's an example of what I did earlier. Mm -hmm. So why do a DIY? Why not? It's easy and fun to do. I have access to the materials needed and I was able to acquire them easily. They are cheaper and the best part, you could finish this in 15 minutes. So before I start, click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon. So here are the materials you need. You need a PVC pipe. I got this from a local hardware store for only 116 pesos. I asked a Kuya seller to cut it into four pieces for me. And also you may choose to get a wood stick instead. Make sure you have treated the wood else it will rot and may invite pests that may affect your plant. You also need a coco coir mat. I got mine in Shopee for only 190 pesos. I'll put the link below in the description if you want one. I like using coco coir mat because it's less messy compared to dried sphagnum moss. This one consists of uh, 10 pieces of uh, pads or mat and you could do at least uh, two to three moss poles with this coco coir mat from Shopee. You also need a jute string or a twine. You can get this in any bookstore. It's only around 55 to 75 pesos. Other materials, a glue gun and a pair of scissors. So let's start. First step is to lay your coco coir mats on the table and check how many uh, coco coir mats you're gonna use for your pole. I'm using almost uh, three feet of pole or pipe and I'm gonna leave a space on this part because this is the part which I'll be sticking to the soil when I do the repotting. This time I'll be using my garden gloves because the coco coir mats, uh, they're kind of itchy. I'm gonna cover the pole in batches so it would be easier as well. If you have a glue gun, you could put a glue here to keep it more securely when you start rolling it. But for me, I don't have a glue gun, so I'll just start rolling it and hold it down tightly. Here, hold it down and roll it down tightly. Then get your string, pin it down like this so it will be more secure. Then start tying. Start wrapping it with the string at the bottom part. Then tie it again using the other end. Then start tying your mat using the string, leaving about an inch apart. And make sure you have strong hands to wrap it tightly. Start rolling tightly, pin it down to the table, get your string, start covering it again. Try to pull the string to keep it real tight. Ikot yun na lang yung pole para hindi na kayo mahirapan. So now we're on the third pad. Do the same step, lay down your mat and then pin it down and then roll it. Wrap it tightly with your string. You see, it's really easy to do. Um, now, this one, um, for the last uh, pad, we'll be leaving an inch at the top because we'll be tucking it in inside a pipe later on. Start rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, diba? Ang bilis lang. 
Nakaka-relax din naman siyang gawin. Just repeat the same process until you cover the whole pipe. And leave about an inch of pad at the top, then just tuck it in. So we're at the end. I'll just go back and cover it again, going at the bottom part to keep it more secure. So well, we're done. Just one more wrap and then get your scissors. Get your scissors, tie it to the other end, just make sure it is secured, okay. I just put my gloves so I can put it in Italy. There! Tapos! See? We have our Mospo. This is the top part. Um, I'm supposed to tuck it inside the pipe, but my my pad or my mat is too thick, um, and I cannot tuck it in. So I'll just leave it that way. This one uh, should be okay. It looks fine for me. And one advantage of using a PVC pipe is that it allows you to extend your moss pole once your plant becomes uncontrollably long. Just simply slide in another smaller pole into the top, then you'll have your extension. Look guys, we're done, oh, diba? It only took us less than 15 minutes. All the materials used, if you're gonna compute it, it was just less than 120 pesos or so, or even less than 100. And it looks decent enough for me, so. And of course, I'm going to show you how to train your plant to climb up your pole. I have this single new, which has gotten really long and she needs something to climb up to. Chanel needs support. She's a fast grower for me. I've already put in soil for her and this is how her roots look like. There. Oh. Just stick your pole to the soil. That's it. Train your plant to climb your pole. Huh? It's a little messy, sorry. <laughs> I'll just try to spread her roots to wrap into the pole. Just put in all the soil needed. Okay, so just press the soil. And almost done. Done with the repotting. All we have to do is just um, train your plant to stick their aerial roots to your pole. Um, since I don't have any garden string available, I'll just use my jute string or my twine. Um, I'll just tie it. Tie the plant to your pole. There. So the aerial roots of your plant should stick itself to your pole after a few days or so. Wow! Oh my god! We're done guys! Look! It's so beautiful, diba? And dali lang yung gawin. Um, it's not even expensive and it only took us a total of uh, less than 15 minutes to do the DIY pole and we all it took us what 10 minutes to uh, train your plant to climb your pole and look look at the result it looks beautiful neba right? So I hope you guys learned something new today and that you'll be able to use this process. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to do so. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's roses underscore greenery. If you like this video, please hit on like, share this, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that, that bell icon. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, yours.